scary. But the Lord's adversary, the devil, tries tirelessly to gain control of the world and its inhabitants. Man, a priceless subject of God, becomes the devil's primary target and his soul the devil's paramount interest. Yet man is given the options to choose, either to follow the ways of his creator or the ways of the adversary. His choice determines his fate and end. decision to oblige to the good counsel of the spirit or yield to the spirit of the flesh lost. In the account of the book of Romans chapter 6 verse 16 yes Romans chapter 6 verse 16 it says do you not know that to whom you present yourselves slaves to obey you are that one's slaves to obey whether of sin to death are of obedience to righteousness. 
at no point is there a vacuum. Your spirit is either administered to by the spirit of God or by the spirit of the devil. But thank God as born again in Christ Jesus. Our spirit will be communicated by the spirit of God so that the devil will continually lose the battle again and again and again. Come someone say hallelujah! Brethren, the Spirit of God still have more to say. But because of our limited time, we will stop here so far to continue in our next evening service. Shall we stand on our feet as we are about to pray now? Stand on our feet. In Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we thank you for this very moment. We exalt their holy name because you are the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the God of an equal power. Father, we ask that your spirit should dwell in us and fulfill the spirit of God in us, that the devil will continually lose the battle in our lives. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father, for your name as I pray. I'm all right. I'm just reflecting on the goodness of the Lord and all He has done for us since we got married. God is scared. Come, let me show you something. Come here. Contain their joy, overwhelmed by my little court of many birds. They are faithful servants, and their faithfulness I have rewarded. Lucifer must be watching this, for his eyes miss nothing, and I know his heart now bleeds of envy. 
with intent to do harm. Wisdom. Yes, my lord. I hope you won't think of impending danger. Yes, my lord. I inspire the pastor about these positive messages, and he preached them in his sermon, and they were in his service. If they have ears, they will hear my lord. Very well, wisdom. Do nothing, my lord. They are faithful to him. Let's pay my attention on those sinners we already have in bondage. Incompetent fool! How fail you? How fail you sow the seed of witness to my folk? Did I bring you with cowardice? I never meant to anger you, my lord. I'm sorry. I am disappointed in you. I do not condone cowardice. And I will not let you contaminate others. Yes. Can someone bring a solution to this mockery? You dull brains, don't you have an idea? Or do you want me to invoke my wrath? And you in your silence? I have an idea, my lord. Dark roots. My lord. You have an idea? Yes, my lord. Now let me make myself clear. I lost my place in heaven. And I won't lose my pride in it. Let it be a good idea. Or else, what just happened to Trucus will be nothing compared to what will happen to you now. Boy contractor. Yeah, move on now. Sharply, nothing doing. Hey, Jesus Christ. Sharply, nothing. No, but honestly, I mean, after that testimony, I started. You know, I'm in love with the guy. Hi, God, I'm in love with this guy. Babe, yeah, check out now. The guy is rich. He's handsome. No, I don't want the money. I just love the guy. Hey, no, no, no. In fact, I'm going to do the new lines. Let me see if you can. Are you trying to say that you want to attract that guy? To become his girlfriend. Are you out of your mind? Can't you see he's married? Come on, Favor. I mean, my man pays all these days than all these single, useless bachelors. Eh? Come on now. So you're supporting her? Instead of you to tell her that what she's planning is evil. 
Baby, babe, but when I know say out of three of us, I mean not like trouble pass. The baby don't begin for my trouble now. <laughs> no, check and balance and see. Table, I'm begging you in God's name. Please, don't teach me morals. I don't know who you think you are. I beg, I get bored for my throat, I don't feel shout. I beg. Well, I am a child of God, an ambassador of the word of righteousness. <laughs> it's this the ambassador. I beg. Since you don't reveal us sinners, why well, not relocate to another table? So that we never contaminate you. Eh? That would not be possible because you're my friends. And it is my obligation to teach you the word of God. Table, I'm begging you in God's name. Don't teach us the word of God. We don't want to hear your holier than thou character. And besides, we came here to have lunch. Please, I beg, let us have lunch in peace. Eh? Tell her. Anyway, it's time for choir practice. You guys have to hurry up so that we will not be late. I bet we will not go, go. Hurry! Girl, I think I went a step further today. Doing all these things, the guy got my display loud and clear. It was only for me because his wife was there. That's one. <coughs> and I swear, I swear, if I ever get that kind of opportunity again, ah, D, he'll fall. He must fall. Ah, I can see that guy. I can see that. I can see that. I mean, you really did what I would never do in my life. I couldn't have done in my life. Are you crazy? Honestly. Girl. You've got cars. Listen, you have to take lots of risks to get you want. That is what I'm doing. Baby, oh, come on, girl, ma. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. God. <sighs> honestly, as in really, I mean sincerely, you're honestly going to sit down there and read that Bible? You cannot. That is because we are discussing something extremely important here. After now you say we are disturbing you. Is that important enough for you? What's important discussion if I may ask? Hmm. I, I overheard everything from the room. And I know who you are talking about. But let me warn you. That man is a child of God. Hmm. Refrain from your evil plans. The devil is trying to use you. Hmm. Excuse me, favor. I mean, what's your problem? Why can't you for once mind your business or oh, beg? Ha -ha! Why can't you just live your life the way you want it and let us live our own the way we want it? This your born again thing is really eh, getting out of hand and is choking me badly. You better watch your language before it runs into a big problem. Hey! Oh, this thing big. Now I God. God. Favor, listen. I am sick and I am tired of this stupid, uncivilized attitude of yours. Are you listening? What is wrong with you? <gasps> Don't forget, you are an illegal tenant in this house. We agreed for you to stay here against our agreement with the landlord. So if you don't behave yourself, ah, we might be forced to eject you. And that rejection might be this night. So this is wrong, no? I'm not trying to pick a fight with anybody. I am just trying to remind us of what is required of us as true Christians. And the means of accomplishing heaven. Favor. When it go happen, I not go deal. I not go day. What kind of bad luck be this now? Oh. Babe, I beg, I know. I oh, beg, I know one text. Oh, I get boiled for my truth. I beg, stand up from there. Come go sit down for that side. Go read your Bible. Your tango, stand up. Eh? See, you can't even go ahead when she's still there yet. Yeah, I'm
I want to ask you, children, have you done your assignments? Yes, Dad. Dad, those assignments were very easy. <laughs> really? Yes, Dad. They are not tough questions still. We study ahead of our school syllabus. Ooh, well, that's, that's quite interesting. I'm going to have to ask your teachers to read ahead of you girls so they can be able to match up your intellectual prowess. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now since that is settled, who's supposed to lead us in today's prayers? I think it's Jane. No, Jane? Mom, it's not me. I did my turn two nights ago. I think it should be Miriam's turn. Miriam, is it you? Yes, Dad. All right, lead us into these prayers, okay? Okay, Dad. But before I start, I want to make a speech. Dad, on behalf of myself and sister, we want to thank you for the new car you bought our mother. May the Lord in his infinite mercy continue to replenish your pocket so that it shall never run dry. Amen! Amen! <laughs> I will now start with a song. We are God together want to be. We are God together. Yeah, yeah. Just like a dream. And for real, Lord, give me sight to see tomorrow. Don't let me see, don't let me see, don't let me stray, don't let, me don't stray. let my good heart cause me sorrow. church, but abstract that, I think we met at a car bomb where we practically bumped into each other. Oh, yeah, that's true, that's true. Uh, where are you headed? Actually, I'm heading towards my office around Weather Road. I was actually waiting for a taxi. Okay, my place is not too far from there. So I could drop you somewhere close, yeah? Okay, Hopping, so I can drop you off. Thank you. Uh, Thank you so much. Yeah, what's the name? I'm Raymond. It's nice to meet you, Raymond. Nice to meet you. How are you? That's my office over there. But since you're going farther, I would. Uh... All right, you can use this for ticket oh, access. Honestly, I'm fine. Besides, I've got money with me. Hey, take it. Listen, this is from my heart. You didn't ask for it. All right? Or use it for lunch or something, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. And uh, yeah, that kind of thing. That's my card. Thank you. Feel free to call me anytime you can. Certainly. 
Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Take care. sound okay. What's the problem? Yes, there's a problem. But I don't want to bother you with my problems. 
Okay. Um, okay, my lunch is in 20 minutes. So, uh, could we meet at the Lux fast food just around my office? Then we'll talk about the problem. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Bye. Way. You were so real. <laughs> I never knew you were a wonderful actress. You better go join the industry. You can make more cash for this wonderful talent. Mm -hmm. Jesus. I feel you today. That's how much I wish to feel. I swear. <laughs> so, what next? What next? I go to meet him where he asked me to meet him. I told him my story. Will he believe you? Oh, come on, Trisha. I will make him believe me. Your friend. You are wonderful. <laughs> Seriously, I wish I could be as smart as you are. Men for so far. Relax, girl. You could be smarter. Babe, shine your eye, babe. Let me say you talk from today. Honestly, I don't change. <laughs> I don't open the eye. Nothing to you. Come there, go make the not keep the guy. Ah, let him wait. Listen, Trisha. When you want to hit it big, don't be in a hurry. Men fall easily when you keep them waiting. <laughs> Baby, you tight. Give me five jobs. You're not smart. It's not smart. I say I'm so smart. Thank you, Sean. Jamal will be missing. Thank you. I was caught up in traffic and my battery ran flat. Okay. All right, before we start, can I get you something? No, nothing. How about soft drink? Juice? No, I don't want anything. So. All right then, okay. So, let's hear it. What is the problem? I've just been sacked from work this morning. Sacked? Why? I don't Sorry. I got to work this morning. I got there late. And my boss just started shouting and cursing at me. He didn't even ask me why I was late. And he asked me to leave. He just fired me like that. No, 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 no. no. That, that's wrong. No, that's absolutely wrong. Why would the boss just fire you like that without even listening to you or knowing what the problem is? Oh, gosh. I'm so sorry about that. I'm so sorry. Oh. You know what, I want you to know there's always a solution to every problem. Alright? And I take it you need a job immediately. Yes, sir. My poor parents and my six siblings depend oh. so much on me. Uh, okay. Um, I'm opening new branches around and I want some of my old staff that will be good to go handle such offices. Um, by the way, what were you doing in your last job? I, I, I was the secretary of the office. I, I was the secretary. Okay, I, I would need some secretaries. So, um, why don't you bring your, your your application and your CV? You know, send it straight to my um, admin manager, Mr. DME, tomorrow morning, and then uh, we'll take it up from there. I could thank you so very much. Nah. I'm honestly so grateful. Thank you. <laughs> Your stories and ask just now because they're just like that. Hey, you consider yourself employed. Oh, that is coming so late, girl. As a matter of fact, that application has to be to You just feel all right, just like 
this new job is it an oil company or and how does that concern you mm. how does that concern you i ask you i heard everything you said everything let me tell you i have gotten a very good job a very good job with a good salary that is better than the pin or the pin that stupid pure of yours yes but i did not like to get my job you must be very stupid i don't have a job i don't have any money yes i pay my rent and i accommodate you let me inform you. It doesn't matter. It doesn't make any difference. What matters is getting what you want, not the means. And if it will please you to know, I am going to be working in Raymond Williams' engineering company as a secretary. If you go die now, begin die. Now I understand you have an eye for that man. But I have news for you. That man is the apple of God's eye. You will not succeed in your plans. I'm going to my room. Come back here. Come back here. Come back. Come back. So, hey, yeah. hey, hey, hey. Just sleep. Let her come back and say what she said now. And what me? Tell her back to this. Is. Sophia, it's just a mere talk. There's no need fighting up over this. Hey, no, but you heard what she said. This thing for me. God. God, you're my witness. So. You didn't hear when all these things happen. I go show that again. Since she had decided to be my headache in this house, I will be her brother. door with extra. I beg. Hi, I beg. This thing for me. Sorry. God. Sorry, I beg. Hey. Because you're my witness. Even if it's in the best thing, but God is my witness. I go drink. This thing gets me. You go drink. This thing gets me. I go show that girl. What is it? Hmm? Why are you not sleeping? I'm fine. Why are you awake up to this time? Nothing, I'm, I'm okay. If there's anything I'll let you know. Well, I'm just concerned, you know. Thank you. But there's no need to be worried, okay? I'm okay. Go back to sleep. Just like a dream happened for real. Lord, give me sight to see tomorrow. Hey, I'll meet my family. <clears throat> this is Jane, Miriam, and uh, of course my wife Anna. Oh. Hi, ma'am. Hi. My name is Ben. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. The pleasure is mine. <laughs> 
Your husband and I would go way back. Oh yeah. Back in uh, the university, university days. You remember that soup? Oh, oh it was cool. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Oh man, he really loved it. Love wow. It. It's such a small world. I didn't expect that we'll be meeting anytime soon. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah wow. Right. Um, what's your name again? Who, who's Miriam? Oh, this is Miriam. Yeah, okay. Jane? Yeah. How are you? Fine, thank you. Good. And Miriam, how are you doing? Fine, thank you. Right on. You have a beautiful family. Thank you. Hey, my friend, Sylvester. We all came back on the stage together. How are you doing? Fine. Hey, Sly, man. Stallone. <laughs> Yeah, what state you stay in on the state? Chicago. Chicago, that's cool, that's cool. It's nice meeting you. Yeah. All right. I'll wait for you in the car. Sure. All right, take cool, care. Man. All right. Wait for me by the car, I'll be there. All right. Yo, man, so how you doing? Yeah, of course, I love risk, girl. Okay? I know what I want, and I'm going straight ahead to get what I want. You know the fear. Get me. Please, please not see his family. Mm -hmm. I beg. I beg. I get bored for my truth. Say that. <laughs> you can say that. Say that. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, Ray, sorry man, but I gotta run. We will meet up. We will meet up. We meet up. You know what I'm saying? Let's meet. Do you have a car? Yes, yeah, sure. It's kind of Sunday, so we don't usually hold cars with us. Oh, yeah. Come on. Uh, can reach me at this number. Okay, cool. Good. I give you a call. Give me a call this week, man. We have a lot to catch up on. Oh, yes, we do. Okay. All right, man. Take yeah, care. Nice to meet Bye. you. Later. Take care. Ben. God bless. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Maybe we should walk up to those guys for a lift. What do you think? God forbid. I can afford a taxi home. Oh, you think I don't have money for a taxi, eh? Just excuse me. You're not ready. Um, hi. Good afternoon. Yeah. I mean, I'm so sorry to intrude, honestly. I was wondering if I could get a ride, maybe to the first junction, because the money I have on me is not enough. I... That's if you don't mind, madam. Please. Yeah. Sorry, sister. There is no space for you in our car, and we are not going your way. In conclusion, my daddy doesn't have any money to give you either, because he doesn't want a charity organization. You can try somewhere else. Will you both shut up? Can't you show some respect? Hey, children. Listen, that is so wrong. As children of God, you should learn to love everybody, even your enemies. Huh? That's how God wants it. Do you understand? And there's nothing wrong in giving a little helping hand. So, apologize to the auntie. We are, we are sorry. sorry. Oh, it's nothing, really, no problem. All right. Happy <laughs> children. Thank you so very much, sir. Sweetheart, there's this pathetic story of this lady who, who was unduly sacked by her boss. And the funny thing is, her family members all depend on her. Her parents and her siblings. Well, she came to me and um, expressed these sorrowful de um, details and I actually felt bad for her. Good thing she has experience in secretarial studies. I'm thinking um, our point has my secretary. So what happens to Stella? Oh, you know Stella is very hardworking, and she has lots of experience on her hands. So I, I, it's just a thought. I think Stella should head one of the new branches. Okay. But this girl you are talking about, did you properly check her background, apart from her credentials? Because you know that it's against the company rules to employ somebody who is not properly screened, especially somebody who is not a uh, born again Christian. Yeah. But she comes to our church. That doesn't make her a born again Christian, darling. Yeah. Anyway, um, she is the lady we offer the lift this afternoon on our way from church. Anyway, we'll talk about this later, okay? Excuse me. Okay, um, me and our sweetheart. I was trying to say that we need to get beaches. So I love that girl in our bedroom. Because I know that now. Babe. Babe. Check this out. Check. 
check out what I'm going to be wearing to work on my first day at work. I bought it yesterday. But this looks too sexy. Who does give a bad impression of you at the first day to work? Oh, wake up, Trisha, please. Sex sells. Trust me, the sexy wears you wear to work are the dresses that attract customers. And don't let these big establishments lie to you. What's the success story? <laughs> Well, my concern is that, I mean, you shouldn't give a bad impression at this early stage of work. Thank you, Sean. Thank you for your concern. Besides, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Trust me, girls. Sex sells. It does. I know she has the intention of seducing that man, but I'm sorry for her. Because the Bible says, cross is that man that will make his fellow brother fall. The devil is using her, but she doesn't know. Then go and tell her that, and hear what it will result to. I won't be here to separate any fight, though, or even stop her from throwing your things out of her house. She like, don't keep your mouth shut and mind your business. Usually quiet since you came into bed. I, I, I know, right? You think that you want to employ as a secretary? My spirit does not accept her. I know you don't like her, but but this girl is going through a lot. She has lots of responsibilities, and she lost her job. Or oh, are you saying I shouldn't help anybody? Anymore? I'm not preventing you from helping people. But my spirit is not comfortable with that girl. We must not ignore this. We must inquire from the Lord. I've well, I've already instructed my ma my manager to to give an appointment letter. To have her start work immediately. Are you not suggesting that I rescind it? That girl does not pose a single threat to me at all. All she needs is help. Darling, never you allow your emotions overrule your sense of reasoning and what the Lord says. Allow the Lord to make you see from his eyes. Okay? Sophia. Hello? Mr. Manager. Uh, uh, I'm so sorry. Um, the CEO said you should get him the files of the cement supplies immediately to his office. Okay. Like a dream happened for real. Lord, give me sight to see tomorrow. Well, is that your secretary right there? I mean, that girl passed 100% of yours. Something like that.
child. Already? Yeah. How long have you been home? Um, quite some time. Quite some time. So tell me, who is that guy that came to drop you? What do you say if I open my eyes, I will see? If I open my eyes and I see, in name na Ben. Remember that day at the service that you had to join your boss's car? And yes. you told us to find a means of going home. Yeah, babe, I get to hustle now. I had to. So I walked up to this guy and asked for a ride. And he did. And since then, we've been talking. And today, he decided to take me out. So what do you say? <laughs> I did feel you. You really, really shined your eyes. <laughs> I am well, well. Nothing to be mad. It's a good thing. Yes. <laughs> But we are going to have to celebrate. I mean, the guy is. Hmm, it's fine. Sure, that one is certain. Let me just have a fresh shower, eh? I have plenty gist for you. Trust me. Let me go. That guy, Ben, he looks like the guy that came to our office today. Anyways. I'm happy for her. That's if he has money. She sent me away so that I should allow him to sleep. Mommy, let me go and wake you. Okay. Let me go. Pieces, uh, trying to lay tennis, uh, security cameras. 
once the deal is done, they will sign it and bring it and put it straight up. Fantastic. I mean, that's, that's simply fantastic. Really, you know what? Bringing those things in is going to help out in curbing crimes in this country. In this country. And, and it pays good. well. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's nice. That's nice. Ah, hey, can I buy you lunch, okay? On me. No, no, no. Wait, wait. Why? You want me to eat before the girl gets here? Okay. Well, okay. Hey, let's not forget. Mm -hmm. I have my birthday party on the weekend. Mm. And I, I need you to be present. Uh, we can't wait. This weekend, Saturday, at my new house. And I want you there, Raymond. Don't say no. Tell you what, I'll discuss this with my wife and see if you can come. Raymond. Between you and I, can we just leave the wife thing out there? Ah. Uh, there's something about the Bible that says, All things will pass away, behold, all things have become new. I'm, I'm like a changed man right now. I'm, I'm kind of humble this day, okay? So. I don't think I can thank him maybe. I appreciate it if you're there. Yeah, no problem. I need to post that for friends like you. You know what? I'll talk to my wife about it and I, I should be able to talk. I just need you to be present. I'll try. Now you talk. Alright, I'll yeah. try. Do you? I'll try. Saturday. I'll try. There we go. <laughs> As if you're not going to leave him alone again. Babe, that guy is sweet. I mean, he is that boy. Really? Man, I was doing all that to make him feel I'm in love with him. So you can take good care of me. Good deal. Not very good deal. No argument. You did the right thing. Yeah, um, I, I met your boss um, at the fast food joint today. Can you introduce us? I see you're going to someone. Say that. I know where you're coming from. Tell me, tell me, tell me what you're doing. He was all alone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, unless I forgot, um, Ben is having his birthday party on Saturday. Mm -hmm. I need your help. I need you to help me serve the guests at uh, the party. Uh, but I'm going to be working on Saturday. Uh, but the party is for 6 p.m. Ah, uh, that means you're safe because I'll close by 2 p.m. and I'll be right there. Wow. <laughs> Here you go. What? Don't let my good heart cause me sorrows. I'll join you tomorrow, okay? I'm very tired right now. Tomorrow? Uh, but this is what you've been saying for the past three weeks now. I don't understand what is wrong with you. I don't see how you will let the foundation of everyday fellowship in your home will begin to backslide. Every day your love for the things of God is waxing cold. It's a very stressful day for me, and I'm sorry, I said I would join you from tomorrow, okay? You 
neither read your Bible, you neither go to church, or even attend weekly services. What is it? Like? What is wrong with you that you can't tell me? Me, your wife. This is a stressful day. I've been stressed out. Stress. Did you say stress? Okay. Tomorrow will be another stressful day. From the things right now, tomorrow will be another stressful day. Why are you sounding like this? Huh? I really don't like that sound. Uh, that I feel in the last three weeks does not mean that I'm not serious to what I'm saying of my spiritual life. What I'm saying is, I'm tired. So tomorrow I will join you. Period. Okay. Anyway, I, I saw the pastor today. And he asked me to tell you he wants to see me. He wants to see me? Why? Is he about the mission? Yes. He's beginning to get scared that something is wrong with my husband. for you downstairs. Are you not coming to join us for tonight fellowship? I'll join you tomorrow, okay? I'm very tired right now. Tomorrow? Uh, but this is what you've been saying for the past three weeks now. I don't understand what is wrong with you. I don't see how you who lay the foundation of everyday fellowship in your home will begin to backslide. Every day, your love for the things of God is waxing cold. It's a very stressful day for me, and I'm sorry, I said I would join you from tomorrow, okay? You neither read your Bible, you neither go to church, or even attend weekly services. What is it? What is wrong with you that you can't tell me, me, your wife? This is a stressful day. I've been stressed out. Stress? Did you say stress? Okay. Tomorrow will be another stressful day. From the look of things right now, tomorrow will be another stressful day. Why are you sounding like this? Huh? I really don't like that sound. Uh, that I feel in the last three weeks does not mean that I'm not serious with what I'm saying or serious with my spiritual life. What I'm saying is, I'm tired, so tomorrow I will join you. Period. Okay. Anyway, I, I saw the pastor today and he asked me to tell you wants to see me. wants to see me? Why? Is he about the same issue? Yes. He's beginning to get scared that something is wrong with my husband. I have no choice. I have to run to him. Mom. We are still waiting. Why is it taking you so long to bring daddy out? Jane, you people should go and start with the praises. I will join you this one.
time for choir practice. Are you not coming with me? Trisha, I'm talking to you. Can't you see that I am busy? Is it compulsion I must follow you to choir practice? But we used to go to practice together. What did you just say now? We used to. That was then. But now, as you can see, I am very busy. Ha! Don't you have eyes? Trisha, I'm so surprised that you're backsliding in everything. Even the pastor is beginning to notice. Look, Favor. As I said earlier, I am very busy. I mean, can't you just go where you're going and leave me alone? What is your problem? May God have mercy on you and Sophia. After Miriam Jane, you will take over and I will conclude. We will pray for the success of this family. We will thank God for his kindness upon us, his protection upon our family. And also we will pray for Daddy's business, for his construction company, that God should continue to bring contracts to him. Right now, we will pray. Daddy, lead us in prayer. Daddy, lead us in prayer.
What about what I told you about? Mm. Is it the party? Yeah, the party. Oh, darling, I'm not comfortable for you to go to that party. I I had a terrible dream the previous night. So you think the dream has something to do with the party? I don't know. But what I saw in that dream, oh gosh, is not worth experiencing. So what did you see in the dream? <sighs> Let's go in. We can talk about it. Again. Talk about it inside, huh? Yeah. All right. Uh... It's not like it's a fashion where I get married, you get married, everybody gets married, and we all get married, you know? <laughs> well, okay. More like on a serious note, uh, I don't think it's an adventure. So I'm not rushing into it like that. But uh, the minute I find the right girl, boom, mm -hmm. you know? Even if it takes the eternity? <laughs> no, of course not. But uh, listen, I, in the meantime, I'm, I'm having fun. You know, that reminds me. Yeah. How difficult was it to convince you?
No, that wasn't easy. But I told her, you know, it was your party and everything, everything. And she made me promise I was going to come back on time. And um, yes, the family man got to go home. <laughs> I mean, like soon, like, like now. I yeah. go home now. <laughs> no, wait. the minute the other guys get in, the, the earlier we can get out. Emma, very, very, bro. I just support chills, you know. <laughs> Package 
I have prepared for him. Have some juice. We're trying to wind down from last night. Yeah, your guy's crazy, man. Why is he angry? <laughs> well, you get over it. The minute he gets home, you get over it. Sweetie, I have to check my friend. I hope he didn't hurt her. Sure, go check it out. Don't mind him. I'm beginning to think maybe he, he thinks he's lost his heavenly glory. It's nice that you walk on him now. <laughs> you come on, nice You come around. Expansion of the theoretic system words and I need yeah for how much? 16.5. Yeah, that is fine. Uh okay, Mr. Charles, uh, let me clean my phone. I have some okay. Hello? Honey, baby, how are you? Yeah? Where? Which which hospital? Okay, okay, okay. Excuse me. Good afternoon, Doctor. Yeah, good afternoon. Um, please, uh, I'm the father of Jane and, and Miriam Williams. I heard they were rushed to the emergency unit and uh, I, I, I don't know, please. Uh, are you the doctor? Are you Mr. Raymond Williams? Yes, I am. I'm the father. Oh, it was a terrible accident. I'm afraid we lost it. Wait, 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 my wife? I'll take you there. Come on. Mike, what is it? I'm in the hospital. 
Yes. Not good. Not good. I, I'm just coming from the shopping center side, sir. Something terrible has happened. What? The building structure has collapsed. What? With some workers buried in the rubbles. Collapsed? Yes, sir. How? It's a terrible sight, sir. No. What? A building? What? 300 million naira collapsed? How come? I, I, I'm so sorry. So what do you mean? What happened? My children, she collapsed my building. What is happening? Oh my God! 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 Mr. Raymond, your story is very pathetic. But I must tell you that your request for another one is pretty impossible. Because you have no more collateral as security. And I can't afford to go to jail because I want to help a friend. I'm not even told. The board met last week and resolved that you'll be given just six months to pay back all the money you always pay. Else, all the property you used as collateral shall be gone. Are you serious? J just six months? Yes, six months. Just six months. If you don't mind. Where are you going to? I'll be back. Where are you going to now? I'll let you know when I come back. On that. Okay. So, you say you need a loan of a hundred million naira? Yes, that's right. I need to service the loan I took from the bank and to finish the project and also um, to get another one. That's a lot of money. That that is a lot of money. I know. Uh, <laughs> you have a collateral? What a collateral? Yeah. Ray, I'm not gonna dish out a hundred million naira and not have a collateral. This is a lot of money we're talking about here. I need to make sure that I my money is secured. But Ben, you you're my friend. No, Why no, would no. I need a collateral for? <laughs> I know, but wait, this is business. Alright? This is business. Let's let's put friendship one side. In the business world, I need a collateral. I, I need to make sure that hey my money comes back intact and even more. You know, so tell you what, just go get the collateral and you have your money. You having fun? Yes, I'm having fun, darling. There we go. Where are you going? You're not going anywhere. I don't understand. 
in fact, no more prayers or fellowshipping in this place again. Because I haven't seen any change or changes that your fellowship has caused in this family. In fact, things have become worse. I see no reason why you go out to go and pray to someone who doesn't even care about you. So, no more fellowship in this house anymore. No more. Tell him, why are you sounding like this? God can never change. He still remains the same. And he has never abandoned us. We're only passing through trials. What trials? You call these trials? Trials that will take away the lives of my children? Trials? Trials that will collapse a building worth over 300 million naira and left me ever indebted to a bank? You call that trials? No! That is not trials. I call that punishment. Until punishment. No more fellowship or church going in this house and again. No more. My husband, my darling, God is the only one that can see us through this. There are people out there that are in worse cases. Have you forgotten Job in the Bible? He passed through a whole lot of trials and tribulations, even worse than us. So do I look like Job's cousin? Or one of his brothers? Should I partake in any of Job's trials because of Job? What, what, what business do I have with him? Nothing. Why would I be the one to go through these problems? Why? I have said it and I'm saying it again. Do not go for any fellowship or any church. And I mean it. If there's any part I remember in the Bible, it's the portion that says, Wives, submit to your husbands. Submit to your husbands. And when I say no more fellowship in this house, I mean no more fellowship in this house. Have you listened to Good day. Good day. You must be Mr. Raymond Williams. Um, I am from um, Global Bank. My name is Andrew. I've been directed by Global Bank Limited to eject you and your family from this building. Henceforth, this building now belongs to Global Bank. And you have just six hours to do that. Is there a proof or a letter to that effect? But my, my, my lawyers wrote your bank appealing for more time. I don't know about that. This, I am only acting on instructions. Uncle, please, no. Please. You can take everything we have. Please. Just take everything we have. Just leave our shelter for us, please. Don't do this to us, please. Uh, Madam, I, I, I am sorry. I, I am only a servant. There, there's nothing I can do. My hands are tied. And like I said, you have just six hours. Oh my God! Oh Jesus! God, why have you done this to us, oh God? God, have you abandoned us, Jesus? Oh my Father! God, why? Where are you, oh God? God, where are you, oh King of Glory?
you very much. Bye-bye. Yeah. <clears throat> um, hello. From. Excuse me, bro. I've been here for about three hours. And I've been seeing you pass people to go see the commissioner. I'm also here for the same purpose. <clears throat> Listen, Mr. Man. The commissioner gave me the list of the contractors he has an appointment with today. Please, I'm also on that list. I mean, I have an appointment with him today. Well, I am sorry, your name is not on the list. Brother, why don't you just check the list and see if my name is there or not? You are Mr... Mr. Raymond Williams. And uh, the name of your company? Giant Strikes Engineering Firm. Such name and company are not on the list. Brother, please. Uh, can I check the list? Let, let me just... Which help. list? I said your name is not on this list. But it's not possible now. Because I made the application myself. And I have an appointment to see the commissioner today. You, and you're passing people. It's unfair now. Your name is not on the list. And you're shouting. I've been here for almost three hours. Say me still, Wahala. Please. No, 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 no. Please, let me go and you see You can't go and see him. No, so I'm trying to block Listen, him. Listen, Mr. Ma, if you don't go that up here now, I will be forced no, to no, go. No, no, I have to see the commissioner. People are becoming to see Get that no. up. I, I have to see the commissioner. Get that up. Get that up. Go, let me see the commissioner. Security. Let me see the commissioner. Security. business would sustain us so you bounce back to your feet. Oh, 
Oh boy, two pieces now. Ah. Ha ha. I take a minute now. One person out of dollar. I don't care about what the pastor says. And I'm not going for any night video, please. In the time of our difficulties, that is when we need God the more. He will show us mercy. He's the only friend we've got now. Why is it taking your friend so long to answer us? Why? Go to church every day on a daily basis. I'm sure you tell him about our problems. So why is he not answering? Does he want to wait till we are dead and we are buried before he can do something about our situation? I don't understand why you talk like a backslider. Can't you be patient? Did you say patience? Patience. How patient do you want us to be? When I walk around the streets every day in search of a job as a building engineer. Every day I go out the streets. I cannot even find a kitchen line to do. And you say patient? It's as if people reject me. As if I have a cause on my head. And you say to be patient! To be patient! Darling, this is the trial of our faith. Don't let it break you down. 
God is here with us. God has decided us. He has decided us to be single. I can see you in this night for your deliverance. Before the devil will make you say more abominable things. Who needs this? Don't provoke me, oh. Don't provoke, don't provoke me at all. Do not provoke me. Don't. Just go if you want to go. family from this building. Oh, Jesus!
can give you 50,000 naira for the watch. <laughs> just to help you, just to help you. My brother, yeah. my brother, look now, this is a Rolex, original. I'm telling you, you can't get this thing for anything less than 200,000 naira. Bro, it's not working. Check out, look at it, you sell watches, you know. Look at it. Anyway, just because of the way you spoken to me, I'll just make it 80,000. No, 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 bros. 80,000 is good, but I'm looking at like a hundred. A hundred, I can't go lower than a hundred thousand. It's okay. okay. I can offer you 80,000 cash. I'm not gonna owe you. <sighs> just to help you, it's not as if I need it. Okay. Okay. I'll be back. Okay. Yeah. Eighty grand. Oh my God. Oh my God. Some wonder. Come on, see. I'm done. You're looking good. Thank you. Ready to go. Here is your birthday present. Happy birthday. Today is the 4th of April. Uh -huh. I forgot. <laughs> How come I didn't remember today is my birthday? Happy man. <laughs> uh, oh, thank you so much, my darling. Thank you. You're welcome. Wait, wait, wait. What, what's in this box? Go ahead and open it. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, but that's really nice. What will be really? Here. <clears throat> wow. Oh my lord. This is a Rolex wristwatch. <sighs> One of the most expensive watches in the world. This, this will go for like 200,000 naira. Baby, why would you buy a watch this expensive? It doesn't matter, you know, my husband. I can spend $1 million on you without regretting it. And don't act as if you don't buy me expensive gifts. I know, but, but I mean, come on. The, 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 Just put it on for me, please. And you? <laughs> oh, a virtuous woman who can find. Oh, no, this is lovely. Oh, yes. Oh, I feel blessed. Mm. You like it? I love it, darling. I love it. I love it oh, I love it. <laughs> Oh, God bless you. Thank you. My brother, I'm, I'm sorry. Take. Oh. No. <laughs> no, take. No, take. I, I, I'm okay. not saying it again. Is it because of the 100,000? No, 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 no. I can make it 100,000. No, 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 really, I don't want again. I, I really don't want again. I think, I think, um, I'm, I'm not saying it again. It's okay. I, I can give you 120,000. I'll give you one hundred no. cash. No, no, my brother. Eh? Thank you. I'm sorry I disturbed you. Eh? Sorry, you know, no, it's okay. I can make it one forty. I'll pay you cash. Just, I'll make it one forty for you.
Daddy, Daddy, what happened to you? Yeah. What happened? What happened to me? Oh my God! What happened to you? What did they do to you? Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh God! Why? Oh my God! Oh God! It's okay, Sister Anne, stop crying. Where is your husband now? That's not my husband. My husband is lying down in the house, helplessly. I don't have a point to take him to the hospital. Okay, it's alright. I will give you some money to take him to the hospital. And after that, I will organize the prayer team to pray for him. God must prevail over this situation. Be strong, okay? This is 20,000 naira. Go and take him to the hospital. I will visit you people, okay? Thank you. The husband has done so much for this church, and we can't abandon him at this point in time. Thank you very much, Pastor. Can we pray? God, we have seen the affliction of this year, daughter. I pray to God. You are what you know, you are what you know, worthy to be praised, ready man. You are what you know, ready man. You are what you know, ready man. You are what you know, worthy to be praised. You are in this place, you are in this place, you are in this place. You are what you know, ready man. You are what you know. going to intercede on behalf of our brother, Mr. Raymond Williams, who is now a captive of the devil. Remember, the Bible said that even the captive of the mighty shall be delivered. Therefore, we are going to intercede as directed by our senior pastor. We are going to stand in the gap and break all strongholds pulling down every principality Amen. and free the servant of God. Shall we pray? Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the great name of Jesus. Father, King of glory. The Lord of grace. The Lord of power. Father, the Lord of grace. God, tell him it's a level of reading. Lord, God of grace. The Bible says, whatever you do not so I can pray. The power of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Touch all his flesh. The 
and not to claim his soul. But you said that any soul that sin must die. He has violated the laws. Why not let him perish? Who made you counselor and a judge? Who made you an advisor and almighty? I am the Lord. And I will show mercy to whom I will show mercy. Man is my image, my glory. And I will not share my glory with anyone. No! No! It's not fair! It's not fair! He belongs to me! No! A dream happened for real. Lord, give me sight to see tomorrow. Don't let me see. Don't let me see. Don't let me stray. Well, I had to go for a meeting because I deemed it necessary that we meet. I know you have been waiting to hear from us as regards your application and. Uh, before I get into that, there's something that's very important that I really need to discuss with you. And it has to do with the fact that you are a Christian. And as a Christian, it rules of us that we, we learn to dress in a very decent manner. Uh, it is good for you to make sure that you do not serve or make yourself a tool for the enemy, the devil. So, it's just a piece of advice. Try and make sure you dress more decently whenever you're outside. I'm trying to tell you that um, you should not use yourself as a tool for the enemy, the devil. Um, being that as it may, uh, that is just an advice. Uh, I'm really sorry. I'm afraid I will not be able to give you the appointment as my secretary because of um, some company policies and the fact that uh, we couldn't actually get a place for you. But I have been able to get you a little token that I think might be able to keep you up till you're able to find a job. Uh, I'm sorry and I wish you all the best in the life of your life. Thank you. Would have cost him his family and his salvation. Who is the person that? Trust me. Not someone you need to know, my love. Now, let's go. Let's go. Cost me sorrows. In a very short time, our senior pastor David will be mounting the door to bless us with his soul to bless us. But before that, I have a wonderful daughter that has a special number to give to us. With a hand clapping offering, shall we welcome Sister Favor of the Soul Reapers? To present to us a special number titled Come and Make My Heart Your Home. So
This evening we are going to minister to us in one of our special numbers titled Come and Make My Heart Your Home. This song is to permit the Holy Spirit to come into our hearts and dwell. And if the Holy Spirit dwells in our hearts, we will be able to resist temptation and sin. And this will cause the devil to lose. I pray that as we listen to this song, the Holy Spirit will minister to us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Then my heart will be a place that you wanna be. Come and make my heart your home. Come and be everything I am and all I know. Search me through and through till my heart becomes. 